everybody to the Chefaholic recipe collection. All right, so what we're going to do for you over the next you know few episodes and stuff like that is just create little simple dishes that you can do at home, work straight out of the veggie patch, um, and not too much work for you, but will enhance your dishes uh, to bring out the quality of your ingredients. So today we're going to make a beetroot marmalade. So that's our main focus is the beetroot. So straight from the garden. And we're using it today as a beautiful topper to go with um, a nice piece of steak and then some lovely carrots, uh, beetroot leaves, spring onions and chives and fresh herbs straight from the garden. So what we'll do, we'll head out, out to the garden, we'll pick our produce and then we'll come back in and start making it. We're going to get about four or five medium large beetroots and that should be enough for our marmalade. Okay, so we'll take these back into the kitchen and we'll start. Okay, ingredients list. We will need our fresh beetroots from the garden that we've cleaned, peeled, and we'll leave whole for a minute. We'll grate them in a minute. One red onion, and then we will need one tablespoon of brown sugar, two tablespoons of red currant jelly, one tablespoon of homemade jam of any kind, raspberry preferable, but any kind will do, one teaspoon of some Tasmanian honey, we will use 50 ml of Chefaholic red wine vinegar, but you can use any vinegar you have. And then our spices will have a quarter teaspoon each of Chinese fire spice, nutmeg, cinnamon, ground cumin, ground coriander, and an optional extra which I like to use is a bit of um, chili flake. So just to give it that nice spiciness. So what we'll do, we'll get ourselves ready and then we'll make it. beetroot, just a touch of olive oil, and we're going to warm that up. Get that nice and hot because we're going to sweat off the onions and we start to caramelise all of that. Our sliced onion. So you have that nice and thin, so it sort of, it falls away when we cook it out. It's not, it's an integral part to get that flavour, but we don't want it hanging around in the marmalade. Once we've softened them, then we're going to go in with our spices. So all of those dry spices, all in. So, cumin, coriander, I like the chilli, so in with the chilli, nutmeg, Chinese fire spice, and cinnamon. So all of those in, then we stir them around. We, we dry fry the spice. And then that releases all of those beautiful flavours. You can't smell that, I can. Into here we're going to add our sugars. Okay, so that's good. So the sugars being brown sugar. In it goes. Red currant jelly. Our raspberry jam that we've made. And then one teaspoon of honey. And you can see that pan's nice and hot, so everything starts to caramelise. Now we use that spoon to get it all off. And we let those sugars take up all of the flavour of that spice. From there, once that's got nice and thick and incorporated, we're going to add in our red wine vinegar. So this is something we've made on the property here. That's 50 mils of red wine vinegar. So generally with the sugar, we'll go in half the amount of vinegar. So if you can smell that, you, what you should be smelling is sweet and acidity. So it should get up your nose and you should semi cough But we won't do that. Okay. Let that come to the boil. And then the last thing we add in is our grated beetroot. So once all that's incorporated into itself, in we go. So you can see that beautiful colour. 
Then what we're going to add in is a touch of water just so we can get the cooking process happening. It's just enough to so that beetroot is covered. So we don't need it drowning in it, we just need to, so when it starts to come to the boil and reduce, we've got plenty of liquid there. The beetroot will release its own natural juices. Okay, pat it down. Now I haven't seasoned it yet, but what I will do is I'll season that when we've finished, so with salt and pepper. So that's looking pretty good. Touch more. We can turn the heat up just to bring it to the boil. Take your wooden spoon out. We don't like uh, cooking our wooden spoons. So make sure you just leave it to the side and you can see that will then just bubble away. So that will be 25 minutes and we should, ourselves, should have ourselves a nice marmalade. After about 15 minutes we should start seeing the marmalade come like this. So if we just pull it apart we still have a little bit of liquid in there, but as you can see it's starting to thicken up, starting to go nice and juicy. And when I taste the beetroot, it should be nice and soft. And what I can taste are those spices and the sweetness and also that chilli that I put in there which is fantastic. Uh, so pretty much, you know, we're going to give that another five minutes, just let some more of that liquid reduce and then this is good to go. And then we'll, we're going to serve that up actually with some more vegetables from the garden and we've cooked up a couple of nice steaks. So this is very, very versatile, this one. That's complete now, so I've just put it into a smaller pot. And to complete a meal, because obviously this by itself, you know, we can have it with bread, that's okay. But um, carrots from the garden, so in a bit of butter. And what I am using is a, is a new pan out from Solid Technics called Oz Iron Oz Iron. Um, it's a 100% uh, cast iron pan. One piece, seamless, no seams, an awesome product. And what it does do, it works on induction, um, your gas, Australian made, which is which is absolutely brilliant, I think. Um, it's good to see that an Australian company is actually producing something of a world-class standard. So I've got my little uh, carrots into there. And in there, and from the garden, I've got some nice spring onions, some chives, I'm going to cut them up. In they go, from the herb garden, oregano, and thyme. Well, that last first time it's thyme. Oregano. And we're just literally going to season that with a bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, like that. And that's all that we need for that. Give it a bit of a toss. So look at these pans. This can be at, you know, maximum temperature for... For your induction, handle, nice and cold, purely from the way they've designed it. So, well done. To serve, we've had our steaks here. They've been resting now for a couple of minutes. Alright, so, let's get our steak off. And then with our carrots, so we've nutted that butter up. These are our beetroot leaves that we had. So, from our fresh beetroot, in they go as well. So you can see some beautiful colours going on there. You don't need to season that. Put a bit of the garnish right there. And then what we've all been waiting for is the marmalade. So with that, this will come with a nice bit of juice. So it's been resting. Now it's just been able to come to itself. And then a bit of that night on top. that is all we really need. And there we go. There it is, beetroot marmalade. <laughs> <laughs>